I'm here to share a few things I've been working on. So, um, I've been kind of bored. So, I have a lot of these um, silicone molds, and I've ordered some recently. So, I took some of my mixes out, and I started making some embellishments. Because you all know that I host an embellishment swap. So, I wanted to... Um, just play around I'm not good at it yet so I still need to learn a few things so I'll I'll go ahead and share my mistakes and some tips that I've learned all right um, this is a mermaid tail and I love this mold it is very very cute here is my I call it my hello kitty bow I still want to get some glaze and go or something else if any ladies that does resin pieces, tell me what's the best thing to make it really, really shiny. Like the back here, I want the front. Here's a perfume bottle. I absolutely love that. A cross, and I added pigment to this. But these are all glitter mixes. So, and like this is a glitter mix. This fact, this one, I love this one. This one is Anna Navarro's Love Spell from Bubba Glitter's Group Swap. I absolutely love, love this one. And here is another one. Here's a perfume bottle. That is one of my mixes. Most of these are my mixes. This is a pigment that I used. You know, sometimes you gotta sand the edges. You get some residue. Here is one of my mermaid mixes. These tiny little bows. And all these you can use to embellish a um, card, a flip book, a pocket letter. I mean, it's endless. You know, and you just use your imagination. So that's some of the pieces that I've been working on. Then I also made like three more mermaid mixes i'm on a mermaid kick for some reason this is a new one this is called magical mermaid no mystical mermaid sorry mystical mermaid very very pretty purple base mix this one is mermaid's jewels I'll be going into some of my grab bags. And this one is Rainbow Mermaid. And this has a lot of that um, mermaid uh, scales in it. I absolutely love, love this one. In fact, I made resin pieces out of that. This is a, a she shell that I made using that mix. And here's another the tail that I made um, using one of my mermaid mixes in here. And here is another one. I made this for my bestie. I'm sending this out to her. And here's a crown for the princess of the sea. Here is the tail using that rainbow mermaid mix. And then this is my um, treat topper die. So I made one for my bestie. And then I'm sending this one out to Crystal Rogers. She's just always really supportive to me as well here on the channel. So I thought I'd surprise him. But it just shows you all the possibilities you can do with resin pieces. I thought this really, really came out cute. So just keep an open mind. When I first started using resin, I was scared of it. But you don't have to be scared. The only one I don't like until you get really, really good at it is the one that cures in 10 minutes. I did not like that one. I myself bought the one that you know cures overnight so that one works best for me but when you're a pro you probably could just whip that together in no time but thank you for watching and thank you for your support bye bye ladies